How do I turn? Oh well. Okay, we're gonna go for it. I know it's very laggy. Okay, so today we're gonna do completing the square, which is Algebra 2 stuff. So Friday we talked about equations of circles. And the equation of circle, the actual equation for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h and k is the center and r is the radius. So that's what we did on Friday. So just a quick reminder, do you guys remember what the center would be? Remember how it always is opposite? What would my center be of this circle? Positive 4, negative 7. So that would be the center. And then this is what r squared is. So I have to square root to get the radius. What would the radius be? 8. 4. 8. Four. <laughs> okay, what is the center here? What would this be? Negative 8, comma. And then this is our squared. If I take the square root of 7, it's just radical 7. What would the center be here if it's just x squared plus y squared? Zero, zero. Okay, good. And then the radius would be? Five. Okay. Okay, so that's just review from Friday. This is so laggy. I, I hope it records okay for people. Okay, so we're going to talk about perfect square trinomials. So this is on your worksheet, and these are three problems on your worksheet. So a perfect square trinomial, we're going to factor these, and I'm going to show you that it's a perfect square. So back in algebra, you did something called factoring. So the first term is just x, and I know x times x is x squared. Both of these are positive, so I'm just going to put plus sign here. Can you think of two numbers that would multiply to be 16 but add to be 8? 4. 4 and 4. And on these, these are perfect square trinomials, so you'll always get the same number here. And x plus 4 times x plus 4 is really x plus 4 squared. That's crazy. So like this one, this would be what two numbers multiply to be 9 but add to be 6? 3. 3. So 3 and 3. So that's really x plus 3 squared. And then this one, what would this one be? Five, so x plus five squared. Do you notice anything about the middle term and this number? The middle term and this number. The middle term, do you notice anything? It's what? Half. It's always half. Keep that in mind. So finish this little section on that worksheet. Let's see. Let me grab a worksheet so I can see it too. So, well, on number four, I should have I should have put number four up here. So this says x squared minus 14x plus 49. So since there's a minus sign, it's going to be minus minus, but a negative times a negative is a positive. So what two numbers multiply to be 49 but add to be 14? Seven. Yeah, so it's x minus 7 on that. Let's go. So what would it be on number 5? One. X minus 1. Good. It's quantity squared. And then number 6, what would it be? X minus 4. Quantity squared. Okay, 7 is kind of weird. Let's look at 7. Okay, 7 is 4X squared plus 12X plus 9. So since that's 4, basically what's the square root of 4? So I'd have 2x and 2x, because I know 2x times 2x would be 4x squared. And then what's the square root of 9? 3. Yeah. And if I were to FOIL that out, I would get 12 in the middle. So if I did 2x times 2x, that's 2x squared. 2x times 3 would be 6x. 3 times 2x would be 6x again. That's where the 12x comes from. And then 3 times 3, 9. Okay, um, so number 8, 9x squared minus 6x plus 1. So 3x, 3x, and then what's the square root of 1? 
Okay. The square root of 1 is 1. So it'd just be 3x minus 1 squared. All right. So perfect square trinomials. Let's talk about, this is where completing the square comes in. So we're going to complete the square. I want to know the value of C that would make this a perfect square trinomial. So remember on those others, that middle, it was always half the number. So to get C, you just take half of this number, what's half of 12, and square it. So half of 12 is 6, what's 6 squared? That's the number that would make that a perfect square trinomial. So what is half of negative 20? Negative 10. What's negative 10 times negative 10? 100. That's the number that would make that a perfect square trinomial. This one's kind of weird. Half of 11 in algebra, they're going to have you leave it like that, 11 over 2, because it's a decimal. And then when I square that, do you know what 11 times 11 is? 121. That'd be 121 over what's 2 times 2? Yeah. So in Algebra 2, you're going to have to leave it like a fraction. So look at number 12. So I have x squared minus x plus c. What's half of 1? 1 half. What's 1 half squared? Do you guys know? 1 fourth, yeah. So c would be 1 fourth. We are completing the square. So x squared minus 9x plus c, half of 9 is 9 over 2. What's 9 over 2 squared? Yes. Do you see why it will be helpful to have the perfect squares memorized? Have them memorized to 20. It'll save you time. OK, 14. So it's x squared plus 0.8x plus c. Now this one's already a decimal, so we'll leave it that way. So what's half of 0. 0.8? What's 0. 0.4 squared? 0. 0.16. x squared minus 0.336x plus c. What's half of 0. 0.36? 0. 0.18. 0.18, what's 0.18 squared? I don't think I know. 0.18 squared. 0 0.0324. Oh, whoops, come on. Um, and then what's half of 24? What's 12 squared? Okay. So now that's going to lead us to our assignment, oh. the actual work. This is what you'll have to do whenever you get to that algebra 2 stuff. Okay, so I want to get this in the form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So I can find my center and my radius. So this is how we're going to do this. I'm going to start with my x squared, and then do you see another x term in here, just an x term? Yeah. Six. So I'm going to put plus 6x plus, and I'm going to leave a blank, because I'm going to have to make this, I'm going to complete the square to make that a perfect square trinomial, okay? So I'm just going to put plus blank for now. Now I'm going to do my y squared part, because I want to get my x squared and then my y squared. So plus y squared, and then what's my y term? Four. So minus 4y plus blank. I'm leaving another blank. And then I want equals. But the problem is I still have this 23 right here. I need to take it to the other side so that I can just have my radius squared on that other side. So if I take it to the other side, I have to minus it. What's 35 minus 23? 12. 12, okay. Thanks. All right, so now I have to do my perfect square trinomials. So I'm going to complete the square. What is half of 6? What's 3 over 
3 squared. Nine. So 9 is going to go here. And in algebra, anything you add to one side of the equation, guess what you have to do? I have to add it to the other. If I don't add it to the other, my equation's not balanced. Okay, what's half of negative 4? Negative, negative, negative 2, but what's negative 2 squared? Negative 2 times negative 2. Positive 4. Positive 4, so whatever I add to one side, I have to add to the other. Now, these are going to be perfect square trinomials. So this one would just be x plus 3 squared, because it's half that number, remember? Half the number squared. Plus... Y, and since that's a minus sign, this will be minus, what do you think, what number would go here? 2 squared equals, what's 12 plus 9 plus 14? 12 plus 9 plus 4? 25. Okay. Now that I have my equation, I can find my center and my radius. So the center, remember it always looks opposite, so what would my center be? And then what would my radius be if it, our squared is 25? Five. Five. That'll be a bonus question on our test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're going to have to write the equation, tell me the center and the radius. And it's a 10-point bonus question. It's 10 points. Okay, so let's try the second one. Can I erase this? Because I'll write too big. You're going to have to either write really small on your paper, or you can get some scratch paper if you want. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this with my x squared first and then my y squared. So x squared plus, can you find the x term in there? 8x plus blank. <coughs> And then y squared plus y squared, but do you see how there's no other y term? So I can just leave it. Equals, i got to get this 15 to the other side. What is 3 minus 15? Negative 12. Okay, negative 12. All right, what is half of 8? 4. 4, four squared is? 16. Whatever we add to one side? you got to add to the other. That's kind of an algebra thing. So now I can complete my square. So this would be x plus 4. It's always half that middle number. x plus 4 squared. And then I just have plus y squared equals what's negative 12 plus 16. So my center would be negative 12 comma what? Zero. Zero. Good. And then radius would be? Two. Two. All right, guys. So this isn't too bad, is it? Is it too bad? It's time consuming, but that's what algebra two is. Time consuming. Okay. I'm going to erase this. All right. Let's try this one. So x squared plus, what's my x number? 4x, yep, plus blank. I'm going to leave a blank so I can complete my square. And then plus y squared, and it looks like, again, I don't have any y. Equals, okay, this is kind of weird. I'm going to leave my fraction 9 over 16, and I'm just going to write minus 4. I'm not going to combine those or anything. So i got to get my 4 over, but I'm not going to combine those, and you'll see why in just a second. So when I complete this square, what's half of 4? Two. What's 2 squared? 4. four. Whatever you add to one side, you got to add to the other. And what's going to happen to those 4s? Yeah, so that's going to be, I'm going to be able to take the square root of that now whenever I find my radius. Let's go. So um, complete the square would be x squared plus 2. It's always half that middle number, half that number. Or, I put x squared, sorry, x plus 2, quantity squared, sorry. And then plus y squared equals 9 over 16. So what would my center be? Negative 2. 
And then my radius, what's the square root of 9 and then the square root of 16? Yes, that's right. It's nice to know those perfect squares. Yep. Okay, number 4, I don't really have a lot of room down here, so I'm going to write it up here. All right, so I'll just write it up here. So x squared, what's my x term? Minus 6x plus blank. Leave a blank and so we can complete the square. And then plus y squared minus 4y plus blank. equals, I got to get that 15 to the other side. What is 27 minus 15? 12. 12, okay. Again. Again. <laughs> so let's complete the square. What is half of negative 6? But negative 3 squared is? Whatever we add to one side, make sure you add to the other. Half of negative 4 is negative 2, negative 2 squared, 4 plus 4. So then this would be x minus, because of the minus sign, what's half of 6? So x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals, what's 12 plus 9 plus 4? Is it 25? 25. Yeah. So my center would be 3, 2, three, two and my radius would be 5. five. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you think you'll be able to do this as a bonus question? Get 10 bonus points. Let's mm -hmm. go. Yeah. And the next year when you guys see this again, you'll be like, oh yeah, Miss Geiger taught that to me. Okay. Um... Number five, I'm just going to write up here. x squared minus 2x plus blank. And then y squared minus 4y plus blank equals, bless you. I'm going to minus the 7 on both sides, so 4 minus 7, negative 3. All right, half of negative 2 is negative 1. What's negative 1 squared? 1. Okay. Bless you. So you're having allergies too. Negative 4, half of negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared. Positive 4. Okay. Oh, and 4. So let's complete the square. So x half of negative 2 is negative 1 squared plus y half of negative 4 is negative 2 squared and then negative 3 plus what is that? Two. 2. Okay. That's what I thought it was. 2. So what's my center? 1. 1, 2, and my radius is just going to be radical 2 because you can't take the square root of 2. Okay, I'll do one more with you. Okay, x squared plus 4x plus blank. And then y squared plus 2y plus blank equals, I'm going to minus 5, 64 minus 5, 59. Yeah. Okay. Half of 4 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. And half of 2 is 1, and 1 squared is 1. All right, so this is going to be x plus half of 4 is 2, x plus 2 squared, plus 
plus y plus 1 squared equals, what's 59 plus 4 plus 1? 64. 64. All right, so the center. Negative 2, negative 1. Negative 1. And the radius, what's the square root of 64? 8. Eight. All right. So there's nine more. You think you got it? <laughs> if you need help, just let me know. Oh, I forgot I have a little joke. It's not, it's a cyanide happiness, so it's weird. So, whew, I just ran my first marathon in six years. Six years? That's pretty slow, dude. No, no, no. 